what happens when royal titles become part of personal branding? Um, are there boundaries or is it all fair game? In the world of branding, the name can be everything. But what if that name is synonymous with royalty? This is the question that has been raised with the launch of the Sussex's new website, sussex.com. Critics like the Daily Mail argue that the move breaches promises made to the late Queen Elizabeth II. They suggest that by prominently using their Sussex titles online, the Duke and Duchess are attempting to leverage their royal status for commercial advantage. This notion directly challenges the conditions of their departure from active royal duties back in 2020. The controversy has sparked a debate on the boundaries of using royal titles in personal branding post-royalty. Are the Sussexes crossing a line by using their titles on their new website, or are they merely operating within the agreements made during their royal exit? The answers aren't straightforward, and the conversation is evolving as we grapple with the role of royal titles in modern public life. So, the question remains. Have the Duke and Duchess of Sussex crossed a line in the sand? Or are they simply making the most of their unique brand position? To understand the controversy, we need to revisit the agreements made during the Sussex's royal exit. In 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the bold decision to step back from their active royal duties. A significant condition of their agreement with the Queen was to refrain from using their royal titles for commercial purposes. This was seen as a crucial step to ensure the distinction between their personal endeavors and the institution of the monarchy. Fast forward to today, and the Sussexes have launched a new website, sussex.com, where their titles are prominently displayed. This move has sparked a debate, with critics arguing that the couple are leveraging their royal status for commercial advantage, thus breaching their agreement. However, it's not that black and white. Sources close to the Sussexes have defended the use of their titles on the website, they argue that Prince Harry and Meghan are factually the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and that this doesn't violate the agreement made during their royal exit. After all, they're not using their titles to sell products or services, but deploying them in their branding and philanthropic initiatives. So, where does this leave us? The use of their Sussex title online seems to be a gray area, neither entirely within nor outside the boundaries of their royal exit agreement. It's a delicate balance, a tightrope walk between the Sussex's personal brand and their royal heritage. This situation has ignited a broader discussion about the evolving role of royal titles in modern public life, a debate that will likely continue as the boundaries of royalty and personal branding continue to blur. The reaction to the Sussexes' website launch is a looking glass into the public and media expectations for royal behaviour in the 21st century. This digital rebranding, transitioning from their Archwell website to Sussex.com, has stirred a pot of varied reactions, shaping their public image and potentially impacting their philanthropic and business endeavours. On one side of the coin, critics argue that this move is a blatant attempt to capitalize on their royal status for commercial advantage. They believe this action reopens wounds from the couple's acrimonious split from royal duties and is a direct breach of the promises made to the late Queen Elizabeth II. These critics perceive this as a violation of the boundaries set during their royal exit and question the integrity of using their Sussex titles in such a manner. On the flip side, supporters view this rebranding as a legitimate use of their personal brand. They argue that the Sussexes are not violating any agreements, but are simply utilizing a factual part of their identity. The move is seen as a strategic step to consolidate their initiatives under a more recognizable brand, thereby enhancing their influence and reach.
supporters see in this a potential for the Sussexes to become influential figures in fields such as media, with Meghan Markle's recent signing with a talent agency offering a glimpse into possible future endeavors. This debate underscores a broader discussion about the intersection of royalty, commerce, and personal identity. It highlights the evolving role of royal titles in the public sphere and the challenges faced by modern royals to balance public expectations with personal ambitions. As we move forward, the actions of the Sussexes and other royals navigating similar paths may continue to redefine the role of royal titles in modern public life. Stay tuned to see how this story unfolds.